because space is hard. It used to be all we had to worry about was astrophysics, Kepler's law, gamma rays, solar flares, rocket science, black holes, and the theory of relativity. But now we also track about 30,000 objects, orbiting at over 17,500 miles an hour. And our entire way of life depends on us to protect our satellites from attack day and night. The United States Space Force is the real deal. Defending America and her interests, GPS, cell phones, gas pumps, traffic lights, you name it. And Space Force is recruiting personnel, known as Guardians, right here in Burlington at 25 Mall Road. Guardian Lieutenant Colonel Spears and Training Sergeant Uristi. First question I get all the time Mm -hmm. as a Guardian is, the Space Force is real? Yeah. Question mark, and I have, I have to say yes, and it's real, and it exists for a reason. The intent for the space force, as it sits today, is to be an agile war fighting, and, and small enough to do that. We're at this point in time going to leverage Air Force infrastructure to make sure that we have everything that we need to operate and, and do our job. But we will always be part of the Department of the Air Force, almost like the Marine Corps, part of the Department of the Navy. At the tender age of three, Space Force is by far the U.S. military's youngest branch, accepting service personnel and also civilians up to 39 years old. What's really great about the Space Force is they are the the youngest branch and they have the ability to really make a a new culture, a new way of business for the military. And they're going fast with it and it's great. The Guardian ideal is is a great way to truly understand what the Space Force is looking for in their personnel, civilians, um, officers enlisted especially. It's very unique and it's fantastic to see what they're doing. If you want to learn more, spaceforce.com is great. But the Guardian ideal, if you really want to know what the Space Force is looking for and how they're going to build their culture in the next couple of years, that's a great place to start. I've done tracking debris in low Earth orbit to include satellites, rocket bodies, to ensure space flight safety. I've also done strategic missile warning for NORAD and NORTHCOM. My favorite job, though, in the Space Force was launching rockets. I've launched three rockets carrying six payloads to geosynchronous orbit. With NASA eyeing a manned moon landing by 2025 and plans for a permanent lunar outpost. The Space Force, specifically United States Space Command, is responsible for 100 kilometers and up, up and out really, to and past the moon. So Space Force Guardians will support lunar missions. At this point, human space flight safety is always a priority. It will make sure that we get to the moon and back safely. So if you're between 17 and 39 years old, you're a U.S. citizen and you are have a high school diploma, you are tentatively qualified. We still go through some additional factors because when you join the Space Force, you're going to get a top secret security clearance. So we ensure that you meet those additional requirements. You're competing against everyone throughout the entire United States that are applying. You get one of three ratings. If you have the top two ratings, you then are vying for a Space Force job. Space Force, defending the United States space domain. From Space Force Recruiting, I'm B-News reporter Tad Stefanak.